welcome back for this next session on cameras or video cameras. As you can see, you have many different types of cameras. Uh, you have outdoor cameras, you have indoor cameras. Uh, it started in 2006 from scratch. Um, you have uh, inside the camera a microphone. You have also uh, infrared lights for night uh, visions, but also you have an SSD uh, card inside which helps you to store up to one terabyte of data within the camera. So let's deep dive on one of those cameras. Okay, so looking at the MV52 in this example, you can see here the camera um, uh, functioning. Okay, uh, what's a cool feature about it is the motion search. So you can see, you can uh, verify, for example, uh, events in one specific location and it will give you the results. So in here, we, uh, we can uh, provide you, for example, this snapshot, you can play the video, the download, or you can export, or you can share an external link uh, out of this. Okay, so you have, uh, you have these elements here that you can use. Uh, another cool thing is the analytics. So here, in this case, it's a MV52. Um, you have the people counts, okay? How many people are, are passing through my field of view on a specific time frame, okay? Which is quite handy, and you have some heat maps that we can create. Um, uh, you can connect uh, wirelessly, okay? Or you can connect wide, and you see the connectivity for the last date, uh, the location, the event clock, and now the settings. So. Uh, you have up to one terabyte of uh, data in, uh, that you can store in the camera. And this counts in this, in this uh, setup for 13 days of estimated retention. However, if you decide, for example, to say, I don't need 4K, but HD is fine, you see that you are jumping to 69 days of retention. And then you can also say, uh, maybe I'm only storing footage um, where there is some motion detected outside uh, after the three days. Outside this time frame, we don't have any footage, you see? Um, so you have low lights, motion alerts, um, quite handy uh, if you, for example, want to uh, really uh, trigger an alert to your cell phone or to your email or any other solution where you can actually um, uh, get those alerts uh, back to you, okay? You can also uh, create zones, privacy zones, and sense, okay? So you have an NVIDIA chip in there, so you have machine learning and artificial in intelligence in there, so you could work also with third-party users like EveryAngle, VApp, and so on, or MelCX, where you can sense the, the field of view, the place, and sense, for example, if the people are happy in a store or unhappy, uh, the sex of the different person, how long they, they stayed in the store, uh, if the people are coming back to the store, all of these things, uh, that and also fully uh, GDPR uh, or any PCI compliance, okay? Um, and you also have other, you have camera profiles, but also Meraki vision portal, Meraki display, and so on. So basically what you can also provide is access to a specific portal uh, for, um, for uh, uh, other types of user, uh, like security guards, where you have a, a more um, CCTV-like type of, of vision. Where you have uh, direct feed on your on your on your on your laptop, okay, on the screen. So that concludes my quick introduction on the Meraki Vision. Hope you liked it, and uh, hope to see you for the next session on Meraki Things. Thank you.